I'm getting my lips tattooed. <laughs> oh my god, what if something goes wrong? Papa. It's ugly. What? I'm gonna smuggle Zeph out to a cemetery. You know Marina's gonna kill me, right? I am the mother. When it comes to my children, my decision is fine. In Brighton, you always have to look good. I get my nails done and my toes done every week. I get my eyebrows done. I like to go tanning. I love being tan. I feel good. I think a tanner person looks better than a white person. I like too dark, it's like bronze. Funny. How do I look? Like healthy, right? Like I just had a few fruits. You always have to look good, ladies. I mean, come on. Russians judge. And then they talk about you. I was thinking of doing tattoo lip liner. My friend has it done. She loves yeah. it. Yeah. What I want to do is called permanent makeup, and it's a tattoo liner that goes around your lips, and it stays forever. Who do you think we can talk to? You know Tatiana, the one who lives next door to us? That's who my friend went to. No yeah. way. Yeah, she does oh, it. That close? <laughs> yes. Right next door. How could I not go? I'm single now. I want a successful guy. When a guy looks for, especially like a Russian guy, when he like looks for for a wife, it's not about just looks. He wants to make sure that she can take care of him. They don't want like, some dummy who just Still. looks good and sits there looking pretty. I will find someone that wants to be with me, that will want to have kids with me, and all of that. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep looking good. I have something to talk to you about. There is the anniversary approaching of my father's death. It's going to be 20 years wow. since he, he died. So I'm planning to go to the cemetery at the day of his uh, anniversary. My brother coming, my uncle is coming. Everybody Definitely, yeah, we gotta all go. I don't think I should go because I never even met the man. Excuse me? Now we're showing him disrespect but not go well, to his grave. if I don't go to somebody's grave who's not related to me, that's not disrespect. Not only you, but Zev should go. When he's old enough to go, he can go. My son is 12 years old. He does not need to go to a cemetery. This is about, about respect to my father. But I think it's important respected. for Zev to see he will, his when grave. He's old enough. Even now, so he appreciates where but he came from. You know from. better than that. This isn't about the history. This is about me not wanting my child to go to cemetery and look at the grave. That is my son. My job is to protect him from extra stress. This is extra stress that the child does not need. It's not just that that's mature. Happy. It's kind of spoiled. Mature. You, you have to have some stress in your life. Cannot be like only happy child. You know. I can say Marina's family didn't suffer so much as our family in Soviet Union. Can you know, you know, the life is, uh, what is that life about? It's not only about joy. I know that he's a big boy already, but he's not the man yet. So I have that little window to be the mommy. It's what I feel, this is how I feel. You can't yeah, change, but that's it. I, t I told you what could happen. Don't cry over it, come on. Marina is very protective of our kids. When I was 12 years old, I had to survive coming from Russia to America with nothing in our pockets. All Zeph has to survive through right now is going through junior high. Maybe I can uh, see yeah. it that Zeph comes. Yeah, try, try it. This was uh, very uh, upsetting for me. Don't get upset, come on. You cannot change the decision. No. He's still a boy. It's not personal, it's just how I feel. You don't need to go to cemeteries to learn about the person you were named after. You can look at the pictures and hear the stories. I mean, it's not like he just died. He should know at least where is the grave. But yes, okay, yes. Yeah, is... You can't change my mind. He cannot go. That's it. Very upsetting. I can't help how you feel. It's very upsetting. So, okay, I just need to go. What I can do? Okay, I will just go. I, I don't feel good. I, I need to go. Come on in. 
Most people go to their neighbors to borrow sugar. I go to get my lips tattooed. So guys, what are you interested in? What procedures? I want to do my lip liner. Lips is the most sensitive. It's the most painful procedure. I'm a little bit scared. You want to look how beautiful? Long, how long it's worth it. it. What do you have to do? So first, I'll draw a line with a pencil. Okay. We'll try different shapes. You tell me what you prefer. After that, I put numbing cream. After that, I put tattoo on top of it. So we can use different needles. One prone needle if you want really thin line. Three prone needles if you want a little thicker line. Five prone needles or even seven prone needles. It depends. After hearing that, I was just like freaking out. So do you think I'm like crazy to do this? No, it's what you want. You see, look at this face. How much better does she look? 10 times. Mm -hmm. yeah, the before and after is ridiculous. It's insane. I love it. Mm -hmm. My dad is going to call me Dura. What are you doing? You're scared. Go and read a book. My dad is old-fashioned. Back in Russia, they didn't do permanent makeup. Newsflash said, we're in America. Come in. Do it. Call my parents and tell them to get the grave ready. You want to do it now? No. <laughs> <laughs> You put on makeup every 10 minutes. Right now, you're doing it. I'm not putting it on. You see, I have you're taking makeup all your on now. Out. I have cover up on, I have bronze But why on, am I, I not doing it? Why eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Hey, you want to hit me up? You want to touch me up? <laughs> but I like it. Are you putting on more makeup right no, now? No, I'm just putting on gloss. <laughs> Marina, I cannot believe you made my mom cry. That's up. It's not my fault that she started crying. These are my kids. We do what I say. I don't care about your mom being upset. It's about me being upset. I'm I upset care. too. I care you better about care about me being upset, OK? OK. Michael wants to make his mother happy. But right now and for the next 10 years, these are my decisions. I don't want to traumatize my children. That's it. I think you're really overblowing it out of proportion. It's a simple fact. It's a 20-year anniversary of his death. OK. And Eva wants to go. Let's so we can stand there and we can reflect. The cemetery is a place to commemorate our forefathers. It's not a place where he's going to see dead bodies. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm Jesus. not going to fight with you over it. You shouldn't. I just can't go. And neither can my son. We have a mix of designers here. Oh, what a great story. Michael is a man, I'm a woman. It's my job to raise my children, and it's his job to buy me nice things, to pay my bills, and to give me a good life. That was hot on you. That's what we need in the winter. Oh, my god. I love it. Don't forget your nice, warm coat. Can I drive <laughs> you to go to a cemetery? I had a feeling he's going to bring up this whole Yava mess again. Go, you know, do what you have to do. We'll support you, but we just can't be there. There is no fur coat in the world that's going to make me compromise my son's emotional well-being. Oh, my god, this is gorgeous. Marina, look, I would prefer you come with us, but I'm going to respect uh, your wishes, OK? Absolutely. Michael can try bribing me. I'm still going to get what I want, and I'm still not going to do what he wants. It looks stunning on you. This one here is like 20,000. OK. We've got to spoil our wives. What can we do? And it's Russian style with the jewels yeah. and the fur. I mean, it's your style. It's my this style, but this is beautiful. OK, wrap it up, please. I invited my parents over because I want to hear what their opinion is about doing the permanent makeup. I have dressing. There is not, there is not. Are you the sure order. it's dressing? Maybe it's a hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Dress. So I was thinking of doing something to myself. You're thinking a lot. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, a, you know how you put lip liner? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of getting my lips tattooed. <laughs> No, don't do it this way. You have a beautiful lip. Mom, but it's going to look good. No. No, you're not at all beautiful. Please, Diana. Why don't Diana. you have to kill yourself? When I told my parents, they reacted like I was about to get a sex change or something. After five, ten years, they're going to look like, like babushka. But I'm doing it for a good reason. I feel more confident when I put on lip liner. But every day, it's annoying to do it. This and this and this. 
It's just gonna be there, always. You know, I'm single right now, I'm trying to find someone for the future, and I think, you know, I'll just be better, I don't know. My husband has to like me, right? Maybe not. My dad thinks I'm too focused on my looks, but you're not going to find a husband walking down the street looking busted. All your life, you're thinking about okay, the guys, looks, good. Down, looks down, good. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Make it tattoo, make it this, and lip, this, 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 always. She is very young, Jeff. No, and she's, she's not young, 22 oh, years old. I'm doing what I need to do. Think about the future. Be smart, what? baby. Please, don't broke my heart. Mom, everything will be fine. OK. okay. Yeah, please. So have you downstairs? While Marina and Mina go out to Savan, I'm gonna smuggle Zev out to a cemetery, and I don't think he's gonna be traumatized. Now he's at an age where he can understand it. So what are you doing today? What are your plans? Nothing. I have an idea. My mom and I, and my uncle, and her uncle, we are going to the cemetery, because uh, today is 20-year anniversary of my grandfather's death. My grandfather had a very hard life, and unfortunately, he passed away right after we came to the U.S. You want to go? What's mom going to say about that? Well, she's not going to know. It has to be a secret. OK. All right? All right, so let's get ready. Let's go. <laughs> I got you a new customer. <laughs> she needs a pink princess manager. Oh, she needs to do sparkles. So we're gonna do like a bubble gum pink on the bottom, then sparkles on top. Where's Denzel? I think they went shopping for sports clothes. Because we have our mother-daughter time, we're getting manicures together. And they're doing father and son stuff. El it's very important for Zev to know about this. And Russian culture should be part of uh, his experience. Amen. Amen. Yo, why do you have to put stones on the grave? Tradition. So that you were there. So I, was, I was just about your age when he passed away. You're named after him. He's watching over you. And you have to make him even more proud. If not for this man, you would not be here. And I would have been serving in the army in the Soviet Union. Zev is growing up in America in a very cushy environment and I want him to toughen up, to be more like his grandfather, who was extremely tough and strong. This is very important to, to, the, to the kids, like, know where they came from. Yeah, but you know Marina's gonna kill me, right? But we're supposed to do this. <laughs> Russian women take extreme steps to, like, beautify themselves. Yeah, they definitely do. Botox, lip. <gasps> transactions. They're going to try to make themselves something that they're not. Don't do that. Don't try so hard. I call them block more chicks. What's a block more chick? A girl that looks good from a block of more. <laughs> this is it. I'm never going to see these natural lips again. My parents pretty much told me not to do it. My parents told me not to do a lot of things, and I still did it. Do you think, like, I'm stupid for doing it? No, I think you're an adult. It's a decision that you want to make. I love to rebel. I don't know what it is. You tell me yellow, I want orange. And don't tell me no. Ew, Holy come on. Molly. Why does she have to be next door? Hi, how are you? My name. OK, you'll sit here. I'll put some plastic on your lips so the diamond cream will work better. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not fun. I already have nice lips. This would just, you know, make them more beautiful. It may hurt when I open your skin. Oh my god, I can't really undo it. No, do not talk. Because one wrong move, you'll end up with a beauty mark. Oh my god, what if something goes wrong? Then you have this whole misery on your face. <laughs> Oh my god, Anastasia. 
Oh, I'm sweating. Almost done. I just have to fill up empty space. Beauty is pain. 